Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I finished fussy cutting um, this week's elements for the for week number four of the Christmas freebies on Scrimp and Mummy's Facebook page. And I backed all mine onto garbage, basically. Or what would have been garbage packaging. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I backed all the tags. I backed everything. So that I'm going to set aside for right now. We'll work with it later this week. Let's see if I can set it aside here. I need, well, let's just go ahead and pull the scoreboard. Scoreboard out. Boy, that's a mouthful today for some reason. I'm also going to set my pattern papers aside. Now, when we print these out, I have Andrew print one full size and then one two to a page. So that gives me a, some options because I never know what I'm going to do with it when I see it. And here in the States, we don't, aren't, unless we special order or order from a UK company, we don't, we just can't go to big box stores and buy A4 paper. So what we've been doing is printing on US legal paper and it works perfectly uh, for that. So then I just back it on something else for the cut parts. So I'm gonna set that aside as well. Now I have a prototype and I hope it works. So we're gonna use this print from last week and it's just on, um, this is Walmart's, what is it, Georgia Pacific one? Yeah, one actually pen and gear 110 pound card oh, pen stock. And, pen and gear 110 pound card stock. It's with their, in their stationery department. But it prints up really nice. Um, and then I have some of the little girls cut in the Merry Christmas. And I think I'm going to pull a bow in from last week. I think I have a bow left in here. I've kept all my bits and pieces um, in this little container. Anything I've used with this so far, I've kept in here. Um, be that embossing folders, washi tape. Um, I've kept it all together that way. I know throughout the 12 weeks, everything's going to continue to be cohesive even though um, Amanda's setting things up that way to begin with. This does not belong in here. Why is this in here? There's a the flower. <clears throat> Apparently I was not paying very much attention when I was cleaning up the other day. That's another big one. There's a smaller one. Yes, I think that's what I want. All right. So, let's set this part aside for right now. And I did clean. I did clean. I'm like, look, look, pull, I'll pull you up. Look, everything's clean. Here, let's see if I can do this and not make anybody <coughs> sick. Look. We're all clean and organized. And the plant even has some light coming in. And it makes me a happy girl. So let's see if I can put you back and not make you sick. Yep, we go. And down. Can we see yet? Yeah, I think we can see what we're doing now. Maybe. There, there we go. All right, so little prototype. I do not know what I did with my measurements. I cleaned all right, and I lost my measurements. So we are going to wing this together. That way at least I can show you if you have a piece of paper on your own and you want to make your own custom bag, you can do so. All right, so we are starting with a piece of, I have to measure it on this side because it's the only way I can see. This piece is eight and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. You know, I want to keep it four and three quarter inches tall. How tall is my prototype? Three and a half inches. Yeah, let's keep it a 
Let's keep it four and a half for right now. All right. So we have, where's my pretty pink pen? All right, our page is four and a half inches by eight and a half inches. So this is going to be our eight and a half. I know I want a half inch glue flap, half inch for glue. Mm. And we need a half inch spot here to fold around. Oh, that's one inch. I did make that one inch. Okay. Scratch that. And we will do one inch here. And that means we need a one inch here as well to glue to that. So that is two and a half inches for these three pieces. That leaves me six inches total. Eight and a half minus two and a half is six. So that means these panels here are going to be three inches each. Yep. All right, so let's do that and see what we get. If not, I'm just going to look like a bumbling idiot. And well, that wouldn't be anything new than any other day. All righty. Scoring tool. We need our half inch glue flap. And I have the eight and a half going this way. And we're going to use this because I can't get to the big scoreboard right now. It slid beside my desk this way and I can't get to it. So, all right. So, to figure out our measurements, we have a half inch. And then we're going to score three plus that. So that's three and one half plus this inch. That's four and a half plus this three is seven and a half. And that will leave our remaining inch, which makes eight and a half for the paper. So we have our half inch. And we're going to score at three and one half. And I'm hoping, I'm going to have to go through here with a, some, some kind of marker and mark these so I can actually see that I'm telling you the right score marks. Four and a half. Now, because I don't have my big scoreboard, we can either fold this over this way and butt it up against there. And scored another three and a half, or I'm gonna be lazy, turn around and score it one inch because I know my last mark has to be one inch. Okay, now we need to do our bottom. So, uh, okay, we got these at one inch, let's just do one inch. Have to pull that up a little bit to finish scoring that. So easy fix if you do not have a big scoreboard. Let's go ahead and fold these. to cut we know this is our glue flap this is our side panel this is our other side panel this is going to be a tab this is going to be a tab and this we can get rid of so the only thing we need to cut here is release our tabs and get rid of this piece and we're going to miter that glue corner Right. Cut 
up that way. And I'm going to cut this at an angle too down here to get rid of that. And I drew that angle the wrong direction, but it's getting covered up anyway, so... Out the tab. Now I'm going to cut out the score line to get rid of any bulk. And I'm going to pull this piece towards the inside. Because see like that? It tore that little wee bit. If I would have done that on the outside, it would have tore the color and you would see it. So always, if you go have a piece hanging like that, pull towards your um, unseen side. So that doesn't happen. And we're going to cut the score line out of this one as well. And I'm going to go ahead and notch this side. Alright. So I think one other thing I'm going to do while I have it down here. I'm going to figure out my holes because I want to put a handle on this. So three and a half inches, where's my pencil? Or three inches, center's one and a half, so. Um, let's come out to three quarters on this side. And through, so I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna punch a hole at three quarters and two and a quarter. But I definitely want that lower. I'd rather figure this out now than to try to eyeball two sides at the same time. Two and a quarter. All right. Make sure we got this somewhat level. I'm using my grid here. You certainly do not have to go to this. I'm trying to see what... There we go. Three, so one and a half. We're going to come out here to three... Oh, that's too low. Next line up, dangling, right there. Three quarters and two and a quarter. <clears throat> Get rid of this. Bring in the old crocodile. <clears throat> Do I want big holes or little holes? Let's go big holes. This is going to seem weird to have something small after working on that journal. But oh my gosh, that was so fun. A lot of work. A lot of eyeballing. But fun. Do I want to put grommets in? Shall we put grommets in? Let's see what we have. Mm, don't like that. How about this light gold? That I like. Preferably, we get ones that are the same color. There we go. Sorry, Laura. I have one of those foot pillows underneath my chair, and the dogs like to lay on it. Alrighty. So this is definitely going to be easier to do this now than after it's put together.
Oh no! No, 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 no. We are not doing this. Crud. Apparently we are doing this. Alrighty. Where are my pliers? Andrew, do you got the needle nose pliers? Yes, they're in the carousel. Can I get second. them, please? How not to punch a grommet, but how we're going to fix it. There's one pair. There's a big pair. Yeah, I need this. I need leverage. Because I forgot to change my settings. We just need to pop this off of here. Okay, that's going to poke a hole. Plan B. Most of the time I do not have a plan B. There we go. Now, let's see if we can get this little stinker out of there. There we go. And all's well with the world. Let's put the right... Now I just have to dig out another grommet. There we go. Oh, it's not lost. Just a little sidestep. There's usually always a way to fix things. And if not, there's always an embellishment. And that one I squished too hard, but... Oh, well, we run ribbon through it. It'll be all right. Okay, one more. in the world was that that just went flying? I have no idea. Oh well. I'll find out later on here. Alright. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and take off a look. I'm sorry if you could hear that, guys. This is going to go here. That's going to go over there. Like so. this over. And it would probably be easier to decorate it at this point while it's still flat. Let's see. I'd like to use a flower. Do we want a little girl? Christmas. <gasps> Toro, don't start. I think I kind of like that. I do. So let's put these little boogers back together. drop them and run them over with my chair because it wouldn't be the first time I've done that. And 
And what color do we want to ink them? I have the... Wow, now we get to listen to chainsaws. I've kept out the inks that I've been using with this series so far. But... Point beach mahogany. Let's give that a try. Mm, I think I have a pinkish pad here, you. Yeah. I think what I am going to do, though, is trim this down just a tiny bit more. too pink. Absolutely enjoying these. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness, where did that come from? I did just eat dinner. I'm not hungry. Um, anyhow, I'm enjoying these Christmas freebies. I think I would pay for these. These are absolutely gorgeous images that she comes up with. what I look forward to on Mondays when we get home from our Monday road trip. I'll give you a sneak peek of the um, mixed media piece that I'm working on right now. So far I have components from each of the um, three weeks into it don't know if I'm going to add fourth from the fourth week or if I'm going to start another panel or I, I don't know I just felt compelled to do a mixed media piece so that's what I'm working on all right now we're all inked up <clears throat> knock the glue over now, how do we want to lay this out? Add this. We have to stay within that three inch parameter. Maybe overlap. Yes, I like that. So when I'm overlapping something like that so I don't get confused and put the wrong thing in the wrong place, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the bottom of her foot here. She says. Now we'll put that there. I want that foot to go behind. All right. And I know I want this leaf out in front. <sighs> Stuck to the mat. Okay. And our Mary is going to stick it. Now, you know what, I think I'm going 
go ahead and ink this as well because why not? I should not have notched that panel there, but I did, and well, it is what it is. And get my corners. Which side do I want? Where's my seam? There's my seam. So this is going to be the front. Center this up as best as we can, and then we'll trim some of that off that's over the edges. Now, one other thing I want to do, I'm going to take my jelly roll pens and give my the berries that's inside the I think those are the actual flowers I think I remember hearing shine up those okay and let's flip this over and trim this up side so that's good there it is. so I'm gonna put this flap down last because that's my front I'm gonna fold this one in my back one glue on that tab glue on that tab one of the little tags that was with this piece as well. That would look really cute hanging off of the I think I'm even going to fold this in a little bit. So I'm just going to take my fingers and just kind of pinch between them there. And we got a cute cute little bag. Now, what kind of string do I have? That or do I want the green one that the cat keeps pulling out? Isn't this fun? The cat keeps getting hold of it. It's infuriating. I put it back, he digs it out. I 
think we'll go with the red. through the whole thing now. <clears throat> Why did I put that away? So I'm going to cheat on this. because I'm not good at making bows in my handles. I'm gonna make sure this is going the right way. And I'll probably still get it twisted because I usually do. That's gonna come up, you're gonna come over. You're gonna come up and meet right there. I don't want to lose that spot. It's way too much. Yeah. I don't think anybody has luck at me. Very few people. Have luck at making bows on a camera. Just gonna hold that there a second, trim that, and trim that. <clears throat> okay, oh, all right, I'll have to put a clip on it after. say after we hang up here <laughs> after we close the video yeah we'll just pin that on there till it dries but there we go guys cute 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 little bag and I think I am going to go ahead and hang one of the little tags on here which you can see at the end um at the end here once so it gets edited you can see it all together all right guys thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon take care bye bye